let me give you a quick walkthrough of what all topics are going to be covered in this course. Now, this course can be divided into three parts. The first part is the admin related stuff. So in this part of the course, we are going to talk about what Salesforce is and what are the different out of the box features of Salesforce. We will learn about standard objects, custom objects, how to create a custom object, how to add fields to those custom objects. We will talk about validation rules. We'll also learn about workflows, approval processes, flow builder, and we'll also talk about approval processes. This part of the course does not require any programming. You are not going to write a single line of code in this section of the course. But as a Salesforce developer, you need to be familiar with the admin side of the things as well. And also from the platform developer one exam perspective, you also need to be familiar with the out of the box features of Salesforce. The second part of the course is for people who are completely new to programming. They are not familiar with what programming language is and they have not written a single line of code in their life. So this particular section of the course will cover the very basics of programming language. We will understand what a programming language can do, how to create a variable, what is a class, what is a method, and if you are someone who is scared to write program and if you are scared of coding, I bet you this particular part will change that idea for you. It will make you fall in love with programming. So this part of the course is for people who are a beginner in programming. Now, once you are familiar with the admin side of the things and also know the basics of programming, we are going to talk about the more advanced part section of Apex programming in the third part of the course. In this particular section, we are going to talk about what are triggers, how to write Apex trigger. We will talk about DML statements, database methods, SOSL, SOQL, and we are also going to be covering about batch apex, synchronous apex, asynchronous apex, stateful and stateless batch, etc. Not only that, I have recently updated this course completely. And this course also includes lightning web components and aura components. This is a 40 hour long course. If you want, you can finish it in two weeks. It's up to you if you want to take 40 days to finish this course. You can take this course at your own pace, on your own time, whenever you want to. Once you are enrolled in the course, you are going to get lifetime access to the course. After every part of the course, we are going to be including quizzes and also a lot of sample questions that will help you to prepare for the platform developer one exam. Now, after going through all these quizzes and sample papers and the videos, I guarantee you, you'll be able to pass your platform developer one exam in the first attempt. My goal is to make you a Salesforce developer. And that's why I've also added a lot of interview preparation at the end of the course as well. You're going to understand what kind of questions employers love to ask, how to answer those questions, and what can you expect in an interview. With all this material, I bet you, you are going to become a Salesforce developer. This is the only course you will need in order to start your career in Salesforce and take that next step towards making your life better. Are you ready? Are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to take a new career? If yes, then join me in this course and I'm going to see you inside the course.